<laughs> Hello. So uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to use um, cold globes or also called massage globes. But when you um, actually doing them in a service, it's usually called cryotherapy. All right. Um, they can be used on the face, and they can also be used on the body as well. They're especially great uh, when you want to have a treatment uh, that is sort of Scandinavian, where they would use heat and cold. And if anybody's ever been in that region and had a treatment, you, you might have um, had something like that as well. But I'm going to show them uh, on the face. I'm using the Talgo uh, cold globes. I have them in ice cold water right now. Um, you, they are made of glass, these ones. You can get stainless steel, you can get plastic. There's a, a bunch of different kinds. Longer handles on them, shorter handles, whatever the case may be. But you can, um, mine I put in the freezer. I can put them in, uh, excuse me, I put them in the refrigerator. You can put them in the freezer, but I'm always just a little nervous that they're gonna crack. Um, <laughs> The stainless steel should have no problem in, or um, I don't know about the plastic either, okay? So the benefits of this is it's great for um, an instant lifting. Of course, it's going to be a little bit temporary, but um, it will give an instant lifting. It's great with redness. It's uh, great for um, people who have active acne lesions. Uh, to calm the redness down as long as you're not rubbing or creating any sort of friction all right so you can use them with um, an oil a serum I'm going to use them with the massage cream that you um, just to give it a little more slip you can do it alone as well um, any way really that you choose so if somebody has uh, constant redness or a lot of, uh, has cuparos or um, telangiectasia, perfect treatment for them. It's great after um, uh, maybe a microdermabrasion or a chemical peel to cool the skin down. And uh, with us especially, living in Florida, it's great, it got, God forbid, that you get a sunburn. It really is great to cool the skin down. Again, if it is a sunburn, do not rub on the face, okay? You would just hold it in certain areas. It's also great for puffiness. Anybody, um, their eyes get puffy in the morning? Because my can sometimes, especially if you eat a lot of um, salt, like the night before, maybe... Um, um, Chips. You know, uh, with uh, soy sauce or something in it, chips, yes, um, you get your, a little bit swollen. This is perfect for that. It's going to uh, move that edema out. It also helps to move lymph. It helps to energize the skin by increasing the blood flow as well. So usually everybody has a beautiful glow after you use this. Every once in a while, like I feel like I didn't get like a great night of sleep and I'm going out the like the next day for breakfast or something I'll use these um, just to it make me look a little more awake instead of you know dark circles under my eyes and death okay <laughs> so alright so first I'm going to uh, wash her face and we're going to be using the um, Pavonia sensitive skin cleanser <clears throat> She does not have any makeup on, so I don't have to uh, worry about removing any. I like to massage, or excuse me, cleanse the, um, the neck and the decollete. Think of it as a continuation of your face. Right, and you guys all just recently learned that. Well, some of you anyway. Most of you know that already. You're probably wondering who I'm talking to. It's my class. <laughs> <clears throat> Has anybody ever had a treatment with these um, cold globes? Did you like it? And did it help your redness? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to remove. 
remove this. These are really uh, very, very simple to use at home or in a treatment. There's no mess with them, okay? Um, it's, it's really, really very easy. So I am just going to tone her real quick. Her skin has such a nice glow anyway, right? You were the perfect person I picked. Okay, now I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Pavonia Massage Cream. I don't need a ton. I think a dime size is probably enough. And it's, there's really no um, particular movements that you have to do. Oh, you have to do it this way or you got to do it this way. It's really more of a freestyle. You just have to remember who you're working on. Sunburn or acneic, active acne clients, no rubbing or friction at all. Okay, So I'm going to take one out at a time, and this is uh, what they look like. And these have um, a rubber handle on them, so they hold in your hand a little better. You can clean these with any type of uh, alcohol um, disinfectant. Cleans them right away. Okay, so I always like to start at the temple. Doesn't that feel nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just hold it there for a minute just to relax the client. Okay. And then I usually just start working on the forehead. Back and forth. And then I'm going to just go back and hold it here. And then I'm going to go around the eyes. Sometimes you can hear the, the glass hit. It's okay. It's kind of hard to not do that. And then I like to go under the eye, especially, and push out um, into the lymph nodes. In our face, most of our, we have lymph nodes all over, but most of them are concentrated on the outside of the face, okay? So I want to push, push any of that swelling or edema out. And even sometimes, close. Very gently, I lay them on the eye. Do not put any pressure down. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I like to it's really very, very easy. Notice there's always one on the client, okay? You want to, once they start to feel like they're getting warm, that's when you want to put them back in the cold, whatever it is that you're using. If you're um, doing this on the body, you most likely want to do one extremity at a time. So you would do your hand movements, say if it was a full massage, right? 
then you just finish the left leg. Now you would take these out and then use them on the left leg, put them back, and then work on the right leg. And then once you're finished, take them out and work on the right leg. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Okay. And we can do the neck as well and the chest. Now, if somebody had um, sunburn or um, active acne lesions that were very red, okay, you would just want to hold these in place. Okay, no on the gliding. no gliding on the areas that are infected with it. You know how a lot of us, if um, you go to the beach, even if you're a uh, darker tone, a lot of times you just get the sunburn right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this would be a great place to just hold it there to take that inflammation down. That's what we're doing with these when you have a, a situation like that is bringing down the inflammation. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? No? You understand how it works? Okay. Thank you for joining us.